Welcome back to Out of My Head on YouTube. Uh, I mean, I think something funny to say this time because I've run out of ideas. This is my friend Andrew, who takes all my money. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a leech. Andrew's a movie star. Mm, Two time movie star, actually. Strange events as well as I want to call you a star of the second one. You were in the first two scenes. <laughs> yeah, but I was the heartbreaking scene. He was the anchor. I was the tear jerker. Or jerker, I guess. <laughs> tear jerker. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna start this timer for a Oh yes, up. please do, please do. I don't know, who cried more, your scene or my scene? Which scene is the dad one? I think Ian's uh, scene where he saw his parents outside. I know my friends cried a little bit. Okay, I'm just saying it was me leading up, building it up, and then he was the I don't know anything about movie plots. Yeah. Tell people what you're talking about. Strange events at Violet's Bridge. What's that? Some. TV slash movie production-ish thing from here at where I work, Falls Area Community Television. Just check it out on YouTube. YouTube.com slash FactTV8, shameless plug. Just want some snacks? The crunching is good for the mics, I'm sure. Oh, we're gonna do an ASMR video? Oh, yeah. And the lack of talking is very good for it, too. Well, that's mm. really good, though. No, you gotta, you gotta get right up on the mic, I think, <laughs> to do that ASMR stuff. I don't understand ASMR. It's horrible and really cringy. All right, you're, you're gonna get me some hate mail coming. His People opinion. love that stuff. <laughs> Please uh, yeah. explain to me why. Maybe I just don't like it because I'm weird. Why do I want weird noises in my ear? I prefer screaming. There's a theory to it I, I have not investigated. It's like it's mostly people psych themselves out with it. It's like, oh, that sounds so weird. It gives me the tingles. <laughs> oh, it's like like people, like my sister would always carve like her name in the styrofoam containers for like Chinese takeout with her nail. And styrofoam being scratched is the worst sound in the world, in my opinion. It hurts. It hurts me physically. Have you ever heard me sing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a video taken down by YouTube because it violated their community standards. But they didn't tell me what part of it violated the standards, and they didn't tell me what standard it violated. So what am I supposed to do with that information? Stopping you. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> we don't That's like what they this want. one. Stop yeah. making ones we don't like. <laughs> Make ones we do like. Yeah. Okay. Make That's some cute cat videos or Jimmy Fallon highlights. Yeah. You know, I put up a cat video, nobody responded. Because cat videos are a little lame. <laughs> I've watched cat videos one time. That's because I was showing that to my roommate's cat. I watch a fair amount of cat videos, actually. I like to watch kittens and puppies playing. I watched one with seals, with <laughs> a couple of different seals playing with a diver, and I was like, and they called them the puppies of the sea. And it was really cute. Oh yeah, I, was, I saw that video, and they were like hugging the seals and everything, yeah, which is no illegal, one. but it's not illegal. That seal consented. <laughs> They're not hurting it. Leave it alone. Be nice. There's a video on YouTube where a guy goes down to the uh, Antarctic Ocean and he gets in the water with a leopard seal. And leopard seals can be like 11 feet long, weigh over a thousand pounds, and they're carnivores. Yeah, I was gonna say they eat things. They eat penguins. And uh, this guy was afraid at first, but then the seal kept going and killing penguins and bringing them to him. First it would just catch live penguins and let them go in front of him, and the penguins would swim away, and the seal's like, come on, what do I have to do? So the seal goes and, you know, takes a penguin and shakes it around and tires it out and then lets it go. It's still alive, but it's kind of stunned. It's floating around. And um, the guy, you know, he's operating the camera. He's not going to snatch that seal. And what's he going to do? Like, take his regular air out and take a bite out of it? So again, you know, the, the seal eats the, the penguin and goes and gets him another one and kills this one and leaves it floating. And then there's this other leopard seal sort of circling around and it wants to come in and get the penguin. And then the original leopard seal gets all territorial and then chases the other one off. It's pretty cool. But there's, um, it's just shocking to see a human diver in the water with one of these seals. Because if you look at a seal with nothing to give it scale, you assume it's, you know, four or five, six feet long. This thing is, it's huge. It's enormous. And it's got teeth, like, ah, it'll, it's, you know, meant to rend flesh. It's meant to shred penguins. Penguins, yeah. But they penguins. take bigger stuff, too. Did you know penguins aren't afraid of humans? They have no reason to be. Well, they have no... Land predators. Oh yeah, you ever seen no. Happy Feet? <laughs> <laughs> That's a leopard seal in Happy Feet. Is it? Yeah, that they taunt. I thought, I thought chasing him through the water. seals, aren't they? The one that chases the main character up onto land and then happy. he waddles over, and there's like this group of Mexican penguins, 
And they, uh, Mexican and, this, bank and the seal is, uh, you know, slowly making its way toward them, telling them how it's going to kill them. And it's so slow, they can just laugh at it and mock it and sort of slowly back away. And it's pretty funny. So I don't think there are penguins in Mexico. Maybe Argentinian? These are our penguins with uh, faux Mexican accents. Maybe the, are you sure it's not an Argentinian accent? I'm not. Because I'm pretty sure there's can be penguins certain times of years in Argentina, and so, southern South America. In fact, these penguins might not even be Mexican, but more like Mexican descended Los Angeles or Los Angelinos. <laughs> I'm from Vermont. Mm hmm. You're from where? Everyone looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and Andrew went to Holyoke Mall. Oh my People God. were really different. It's. It's a whole different community. Like, we were the tallest ones in the whole mall. Yeah. Holyoke, <clears throat> for those who don't know, Holyoke, Massachusetts, is the uh, largest population of, um, where did they just have the hurricane a couple years ago? Uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans in the United States. Okay. I didn't really notice Huge that. Huge Puerto Rican community I in did. Holyoke. I, mo I noticed the really, really short people everywhere, though. It kind of creeped me out. It's like, why is it... Uh, there was the adults were the size of children, and I was getting concerned. I've noticed that lately, like kids in my class, I'm the tallest one in my class. Basically, you're not even tall. You're short. Yeah, I'm six. Short? Six foot. Yeah. You're not six foot. Yeah, I am. Not six foot. <laughs> uh, and anyway, so is your is your class just full of starving kids or what? No, they're just all shorter kids and. I've noticed like the generations down, like the next class down is all really short kids, the next class down is really short kids. Well, that's because they're younger than you. Well, no, not really. <laughs> you know what? Are you out of here? Yeah, I'm out of my head. Nobody wants a snapper? No. Andrew is telling me about the, uh, I'll try something one. else called snappers. <laughs> uh, KMO broke his fast today. So Can he you wanted tell? to talk about that while he was eating food. <laughs> so if we all eat food at the same time, no one's talking. And well, then we'll just have to talk with our mouths full. That's funny. That's comedy gold right there. Mm -hmm. My mom would slap me if I did that. Rightfully don't, so. Don't show her the video. She doesn't watch it, man. Show him on my Facebook page. <laughs> she doesn't watch it. It's like, hey, mom, did you watch the video yet? No. <laughs> have you watched the video from Christmas time of me sitting on Santa's lap? No. Have you watched the first video I made? No. <laughs> she did watch the first one I made. That was actually pretty funny. Did you ever see that one? It was the 2016 election. I don't think so. Uh, it was, who's who's going to screw you more, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? Mm. <laughs> we'll never know. Andrew, who do you like for 2020? Ben Shapiro. I don't know if he's announced his uh, uh, candidacy yet, but I think he has. Oh, I heard on the radio just yesterday, I think, that... Uh, Ben Shapiro is a gateway drug to uh, full-on Nazi ideology. Oh, my. Yeah. So, so if you listen to Ben Shapiro a couple times, you'll be uh, doing the Roman salute mm. week after next. Not All true. of Andrew's non-white and homosexual friends agree that he's a Nazi. How is he a Nazi? He's Jewish. <laughs> he's... <laughs> well, you kind of have Jewish Nazis. Out here at George Soros? <laughs> Go ahead. Spell that out. Okay, I don't actually know any of this. I just heard it on Joe Rogan from Alex Jones. So I can't verify any of it, but he apparently was a Jewish boy whose uncle took him, or godfather took him in, and then he helped the Nazis to keep himself alive, is the claim. Mm -hmm. Then there's also, again, didn't double check this. He, he said he enjoyed it. So... Well, if you heard it from Alex Jones, you know it's true. Yeah. I learned a lot of stuff. <laughs> learned that, that particular piece is true, though. Okay. I, I, I trusted that one, just by the way he was saying it. I learned a lot from that podcast. The actual history stuff, not the conspiracy crap. Do we have a theme? Has a theme emerged? Sometimes a theme will emerge just in random chatter. Idiocy. <laughs> I'm so, Ben Shapiro, I don't think, is actually running for president. He'd probably be running as a Republican, right? Yeah. And uh, challenging the sitting president for the party's nomination is really it's long odds. So, uh, yeah, he's a much better chance in 2024. <clears throat> given okay. Trump or any of the uh, Democratic candidates, what do you like? 
I, I'd have to go to Trump. I was, in the beginning of this year, I was extremely liberal, like, super. Like, like two months ago? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's true. Please, tell me about this. Or no, not two months ago. I guess it was, it was a little bit ago. Tell about your hashtag walk away. It was, it was before I actually started hanging out with him. I was super liberal. Mm -hmm. And um, then I started to take a step back and look at it from a different perspective. And I was like, wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> there are some things that I th say that are just like not even. Like what? <sighs> I can say Come without on, getting in trouble. Specifics. Or get you yourself are going to get in trouble. Um, let me think. Uh-oh. That's our one minute warning. Finish up quick. What's stupid about modern liberalism? Uh, hate speech. The bans hate against speech. it, or mm -hmm. okay. trying to ban free speech is um, a bunch of bullcrap. Are there, there any circumstances in which it's okay to curtail speech? No. None. No. As not long as it's not a call to action. As long. As, okay. If it's a call to action, if you're saying go out and kill somebody, then yeah, no, that's not okay. But if you're saying, wow, this guy is could wish he was dead, you know. That's not. I wish she was dead. Is not appropriate. It shouldn't be illegal, in my opinion. Right. It's not. Don't it shouldn't be that. illegal. It's frowned upon. I mean, there's certainly tons of things that are frowned upon if you say it. But like, free speech is the biggest thing that we have in the. Well, one of the biggest things we have in the. Okay. Quick. United gun States. control. <laughs> what? What about gun control? What's your position? Um, are the liberals wrong? Yeah. You're not going to take my guns. Okay. Do you have any? I do have. I have three guns. And three more than me. It's socialism. Uh, evil. Medicare for all. Not gonna work. Canada has it, but they're, they're waiting lines, you know, you're gonna wait seven months just to get seen by a doctor, and by that time, you know, might as well. Did you hear that from John Hannity? No. <laughs> Stephen Crowder? Yeah. A few, well, actually, a few a Canadians. Canadian there. Yeah. His mom Canadians was... might watch this and uh, have a... Countervailing point of view? We'll see. Well, he said his mom was, <laughs> apparently his mom was sick, and she had cancer, and she had to wait, I think it was six months, just to get into an MRI mm -hmm. to locate the cancer, so. My mom took her like two days to get into an MRI. Yeah. Well, that's because we are well off white people. Yeah. Okay. Well, check, um, your, check your white privilege, Here's please. the only argument you need for Medi Medicare for all. The government sucks, do I want them in charge of my health care? <laughs> True. And we spend, that, the United States spends more money on health care than almost any other country per capita, and we have some of the worst outcomes. I would pay more to keep the government farther away from The it. government is deep, deep into your health care right now. Too deep. What's that? Too deep. Too I'm, deep, I'm, but, but they do it under the guise of private enterprise. Mm -hmm. Their regulations just screw up everything. The, the way they make it so health insurance can't compete with each other over state lines, the way they mandate certain things, like... I want, I want, how do you how do you own a medication? The right to produce and sell that medication. Because, I mean, I understand and incentivize people to make it so they can, they can make money, but at the same time, that just makes insulin cost way too much. I think insulin's public now, but... Mm. And of the 4,291 people who have declared their, uh, their intention to run for president on the Democratic ticket... None of them. None of them are talking about reform of intellectual property law, which I think is... is Huge, huge it disorder. Needs, it needs a lot of work. Yeah. All right, gotta wrap, wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Out of my head on YouTube. Dislike, unsubscribe, report. Because someone thought it was funny last time I said it. And don't share. Until next time. Catchphrase. That was the catchphrase. Right. Oh, okay. Until next time. Until next time. You say it. Until next time. I got to the bang. Until next time. Okay, you can cut on one of those things. <laughs> well, that was fun, Kim. Okay.